If you're a much heavier individual that's in the market for an ultra supportive and durable hybrid option, two of the best ones within the online space are the Big Fig Mattress and the Sava HD. But when it comes down to it, what are the main reasons to go with one option over the other? Well, if you clicked on this video, that's exactly what we're gonna try to cover for you today. We're gonna start off by talking about the policies that they're backed by. Then we're gonna talk about the kinds of commonalities that they share, you know, where they match up a little bit. Then we're gonna delve into the differences. So the main things that set them apart from one another, then we're gonna talk about pricing. And at the very end, I'll even sum things up with a final verdict for you, so stick around. Now, if you didn't know already, I'm JD, and I work over at the Slumberyard, which is a place in which we review online mattresses. So if you have any concerns or questions about a bed that you're maybe checking out and you want some more information about them, check down below in the description or head on over to our website, myslumberyard.com for a lot more helpful stuff. If you get something out of this video and we maybe help you towards your online mattress search, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for a lot more, but without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, policies. What do you gotta know in terms of shipping, returns, trial periods, and warranties with the Big Fig and Sapa HD beds? Well, just so you guys know, we did receive both of these mattresses for free from their brands to review and tell you guys about them. But if you end up buying them online, you should get completely free shipping to start. Now, the methods in which they get to you are gonna differ slightly. With Big Fig, this bed shows up with standard bed in a box shipping these days. So it'll arrive in a big box that you basically drag into your home and unbox, which is really easy to do. But you may just wanna have a friend there to help you out as it's quite burly and heavy to lift by yourself. With the Sava HD, this bed will actually show up to your door full size through a process called white glove delivery. And this basically means that a local delivery service is gonna swing this bed by your home and set it up for you at no additional cost. And they'll even remove your old bed in most cases for free. But however these beds show up at your door, it shouldn't cost you anything extra. Now, once they're in your possession, you also get a sleep trial with both. With the Big Fig mattress, you get 120 nights to test it out at home risk-free before you're stuck with it. And with the Sapa HD, you actually get 365 nights. So a full year to test it out. If within those trial period timeframes, you find that the mattress aren't really right for you for whatever reason, that's totally fine because you do have a return option with both. Big Fig offers completely free returns with their beds within that trial period timeframe. Whereas the Sapa HD will probably charge you a nominal transportation fee if you do wanna send it back just because they incur more costs shipping the beds to you. Just know that going forward, we highly doubt that many folks are gonna end up returning these beds as they're quite nice. So in the case you do decide to keep them, the Big Fig mattress is backed by a 20 year warranty, whereas the Sapa HD is backed by a lifetime warranty. And both of those warranties are above and beyond the usual industry standard of around 10 years or so. So if you need any more information, again, check the description box, tons of helpful information and stuff down there for you. Now let's cover the similarities. So the commonalities where these beds kind of match up a bit, both use an extra durable layer of coils for support in tandem with various comfort foams, including latex foam for comfort. So both are gonna be really accommodating and nice for especially heavier folks. Now there are gonna be a couple places where they differ a bit in terms of overall design. The Saba HD incorporates some zone support advantages. I believe it features some sort of lumbar support in the middle of the bed and in the latex foam layer. So this bed may be pretty beneficial for those that suffer from back pain at night. For the Big Fig mattress, this bed actually features a phase change material in the cover. So if you're a bit of a hot sleeper, you may wanna go the route of Big Fig as it may offer you a little bit of a cooling edge. These different types of construction elements also add up to give them a little bit of a difference in terms of overall feel and firmness. The Big Fig mattress has a pretty responsive firm foam feel. In general, this mattress is designed to provide lots of pushback and resistance for the heavier sleeper. So it's pretty much gonna feel like a really responsive coil mattress that's also pretty neutral. But since it's a much firmer bed that's in between a medium firm and a proper firm on our scale, it'll probably be most accommodating for strict back and stomach sleepers looking for lots of support at night. But hey, if you're a much heavier individual, you might sink into the big fig a bit more and perceive it to be a little bit softer than that. So keep that in mind. But in terms of the Saba HD, we think most heavier folks will perceive this bed to be right around a medium. So it should be able to accommodate any sleeper type, whether you like to sleep on your back, your side, your stomach, or a combination of the three, you should be set here. And since it's a bit softer than the Big Fig, it also features more of a soft neutral foam feel, maybe even like a pillow top feel since that's its main comfort layer. So if you're looking for a bit more cushion and pressure relief in your supportive and durable hybrid option, you might wanna go with the Sapa HD over the Big Fig. Just keep that in mind. But now let's get into pricing. How much are you gonna be shelling out for these options? 
options. And since they are more supportive hybrid beds that are intended to support a lot of weight at night, a lot more goes into their construction and design and the pricing kind of reflects that. So as of when I'm doing this video, a queen size Sava HD is currently going for around the 2750 mark, just shy of that maybe after discount. We'll link whatever is current with this bed as far as discounts and promotions go for it down below in the description box if you're interested. And in terms of the big fig, this bed is currently going for around $1,400 after discount. So not bad in terms of this bed's pricing, at least for what you're getting here. Again, check the discounts and promotions down below in the description box of this video. And keep in mind, if you do use those, it helps to support our channel which we really appreciate over here at the Slumberyard. And that pretty much wraps it up for this comparison. I could go into some, you know, really finer details regarding the bed's motion isolation and edge support, how they perform in terms of temperature regulation, but you know, everything is pretty much solid across the board in terms of all this stuff. So now it's time for the final verdict. Over here at the Slumberyard, we would say, if you want the softer option for all sleeper types with a zone support design, check out the Sava HD. And then if you want the firmer option for back and stomach sleepers with a cooling cover, and you also want the more affordable affordable option after discount, check out the big fig. But hey, that's just our take on it. What is yours? When it comes to this comparison, which option would you choose and why? Write us down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Again, tons more helpful information and stuff related to these beds are gonna be linked down below in the description box for you guys. Full written reviews, other comparisons, buyer guides, discounts, the list goes on and on. If you found this video helpful towards your online mattress search, we would really appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video and considered subscribing to the channel for a lot more helpful stuff. Stuff, but that's going to do it for this one. Again, I'm JD with the Slumberyard. Hopefully you're doing well out there. And like always, sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time.